Hello guys, I'm Silver Raptor, and welcome to episode 9 of XCOM 2, with our uh, playthrough. We have uh, Advent's Retaliation yet again against us, so we are going to go and stop them. Let's get this underway. And get this underway. So they're trying. They're trying to attack this newly, uh, this new region that we just got. So we're, they're definitely going to stop them with that. Um, I'll give you a frag. Um, do I... Yeah. So with our new ranger, he will get the flashbang like usual. And uh, yeah, our specialist here will get the med kit. Oh, uh, let's see. Ranger, heavy. Okay, I think we are good to go. Now let's get underway. Let's go protect some civilians. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Oh, and I just realized get some more faceless corpses. I can finally get that mimic beacon I've been wanting so bad. Just got word the aliens are hitting a resistance outpost with everything they've got, and our people don't stand a chance against them. We're heading in to secure the area, eliminate all enemy contacts. Sounds good. All right, swoop on in. Let's take them out. Menace 1 5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. So we'll put the sniper up here. You have a good vantage point. Got it! Might be able to see some Advent forces. Ha! Oh! Seem a little more agile than the ones we fought in the past. Oh boy! It looks like they're still serving as the aliens' front line. Muton, huh? Well, at least we alerted them early. Now we just need to take care of him. Uh, this looks like a flank. Okay, I'm, I'm all for flanking. Yeah, it's a flank. Seventy percent. Wow! All natural ten defense. Well, good luck. Very nice. I love these magnetic weapons. First boot on taking out one shot. And now all we have left is just a Lancer to deal with. Um, that will be our last resort. Um, move Moving to up. designated position. And yeah, we'll just blow him yeah, and his gosh. cover up. Though I don't really know who would take cover behind a cactus. Oh, well, I guess. Well, I guess it's the kind of cactus. Especially, I wouldn't do it behind a prickly pear and try to hug it, so. Yep. Oh, here we go. This would be good. You can see him. Oh, he gets low cover? Oh, it's this stupid ledge here. Oh, good luck. All right, all right. So first two aliens down. Good start. Good start. And you will go here. On the move. And I'll just move you up to that low cover. I don't want to move you up so far since that we don't attract another group. All right, aliens turn. Oh no! I think they found a civilian. That viper found that civilian. All right. Ouch. All right, well, minus one civilian. We're seeing heavy civilian casualties, Commander. We have to stop this. Yep. All right. We'll start off with Red Ranger. That's affirmative. By getting the civilian to see if he's a on, faceless. And he's not a faceless. That is good. All right. Adams, we will... We'll move you up here. Roger we'll just do a quick run for it because we know it's safe up to that point. 
Uh, for our combat hacker, we'll move up there. alongside with Adams. These two are our two best soldiers because they are the only ones who got the advanced warfare addition to their, uh, the additional perk to their ability. And we'll move him here and he'll just be our overwatch man. Overwatch. And we'll overwatch, overwatch our sniper there and sniper here. Aha! Good thing we did! Surprise! Dodge. Of course, he has no idea he's there and he'll just dodge it. It's still up. Those I've dodges are going to be annoying, decision. I can tell. Alright! And the shard gun picks up the kill. Target eliminated. Excellent. Uh oh. Up, oh, we got a mech. Mech very far back there. And he says whatever Avid officers say. Moving. Alright. Move you over here. Will you guys can I get you both? Oh I can. I don't even think to take a second oh, shot at no. this. You'll kill one trooper, it will make you untouchable. Oh no, he had loot? Why does the office the trooper have loot? Ah, oh, well that sucks. If you say so. Could have used some good loot. Alright. Take out this lancer. Wow, these men. This magnetic guns are making it too easy. They just evaporate before us. And we'll move our guy up as backup. And you definitely are going to move forward. Moving to position. See anyone? Nope. No, I'm not going to risk it. That faceless. I do not want a faceless to just sit on my last move. That would suck. Okay, so they're very far back there. Uh, that sounded brutal. We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. Yes, yes. We need to get these people out of here. All right. Let's get this underway. All right, ready? Here we go. On the move. You're clear. Move out. All right, one civilian. Uh, where was he? He was on this bus here. Yeah. So this would be safe, right? Target position now. No, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yes, yes, that's perfectly safe. It's one of these things. Yeah, of course it would. Sixty-nine. No, we'll just do the regular ninety-one percent shot. Take the shot. Nice shot. All right, we'll take the guy who's furthest back. In front of someone further back. Okay. We'll take this guy. We'll move him up. Heading out. Get him just a little closer. And take the fire shot. All right. That's right. Faceless down. Okay, so that faceless gone. Uh, we'll move you up here. See if there's anybody over on to the right. Don't think so. Doesn't look like it. All right, go behind that heavy cover. All right, and now Adams will expeditiously move, move, move. come up to this area here. So, we have a lot of uh, civilians right around us, so we'll be able to hopefully get a, our required civ civilian uh, quota for this mission. That, that mech is on a serious civilian killing rampage. We gotta stop him soon. Alright. You go here. Okay, I'll go. Get that civilian. Get 
And that civilian is, of course, taking that perfect spot. We'll move you up here. Get that civilian. And there's some civilians over there. So, yeah, we'll take care of them in a bit. I'm going to move out of them here. And join Overwatch. We'll bring our medic right up to this car. See if you can spot that mech. Nope. Okay. Moving. And finally our ranger I've been troops here. gets their attention. We get an Adam shot at least. Oh, he survives with one health left, of course. Oh, he's right out in the open, too. Ah, oh, shoot. Um, that would be a flank. Um, I'm going to put it behind full cover here. Oh, good. We do have a sniper. Max is going to survive. Sun Lancer. 15%. Um... No, we'll just long watch. Wait for them to leave cover and take a pot shot at them then. Alright. Sniper triggered. Nice hit. Very nice hit. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, he's just... Okay, so he shoots a civilian. Okay, well, I mean, that that's kind of good for us because we don't risk a soldier dying. Wait, there. did you have Untouchable? Or does Untouchable only work the turn after you kill a troop? I don't know. If you guys do, let me know in the comments below. Oh no, another stun. Just do you disoriented. Oh, these stun lancers are ah, so annoying. And so is that. Sure. So is him. All right. So let's take him out with the shard gun. Beautiful and clean. Hostiles pacified. Good to hear. Little revenge action. Nothing like a point blank uh, Gatlin gun like Target object. And we will move if you say so. our specialist forward. You don't see him? Alright then. I know what will. Scanning protocol. Oh, there was another faceless there. Okay, well that... Not... Brilliant. Sniper doesn't see either of them. Oh, no, wait, he's out of ammo. Shoot. I'm ready. All right, Perfect. pistol overwatch. Uh, um, you, won't, you won't see him there. Okay, I'm just going to put you on overwatch here. All right, good, he sees him. Oh, he's disoriented. Oh, but he's... Yes. Still hits. <sighs> that mech is down. Good. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Walk sideways down the bus. And he just lunges forward here. We are not intimidated by sugs like you. <laughs> Alright. This orientation removed. Um, no. Not that. Uh, this button. Let's just give up. Let's do a dead eye. Dead eye with the sniper. Just use the ability. Reduce the accuracy. Miss. Oh, we did it. We used the ability. That's what I wanted to do. Come on. All right. We'll just have Adams and uh, our gunnery specialist finish this guy up. Uh, he's wounded a bit. 
On reserves. And time for Rift. Take this guy out. I mean, he's he's pretty huge. It's not like he's going through. She's going to miss that target. Menace one five status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Excellent. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Got a couple of wounded soldiers. Both of them just got a, li uh, a little zapped by the lancers, but otherwise, pretty successful retaliation mission. I I did good parts in some uh, good good time did some uh, uh, caution over uh, some areas of the mission, but uh, unfortunately, the fact that it's a retaliation mission, we can't exactly sit back all the time because civilians are dying every turn. So, we'll have to wait for... We can't wait forever for them. But, fortunately, we saved the Mexico region, so... I like that mission. Uh, two gravely wounded guys. No promotion, surprisingly, from that. Ah, uh, well. We got our Bhutan corpse. Excellent. Hello, Commander. And we can increase the supplies by 25. So this region's going to pay off pretty big for us. On manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for uh, boots. Adams just reduced will. That's not good. Uh, armory soldiers well mine's filled up with wounded troops as well right, let's get to the bridge rookies we could use rookies um, what was I I was making contact here wasn't I uh, yeah I'll want to finish this up but then yeah I'll definitely go after those rookies I definitely need some me some rookies Midnight Raids. Cracks down, reduces the cost of recruits by 100% for a month. Okay, well I definitely need those rookies now. Now that they cost more. What? Avatar Project again? Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar Project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yes, indeed. That That's definitely filling up pretty quickly. All right, let's finish making contact. All right. Hello. Signals coming through clear. Regional contact located. New Arctic and we got the under the table bonus. So, now we've united all of America again. Excellent. Now let's go and get these rookies. Avenger plotting new course. Excellent. Not think I could have predicted this out. All right. Though it is intriguing. So now that we've got uh, psionics, we can get the Scilab up and running. Advanced Scilab. That sounds good. Uh, Plated armor is eight days. Advent officer is two days. Uh, we'll just do the Advent Officer and then move on to Plated Armor right the away. The Advent Officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent Trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the Officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent Forces. Alright. Good to know. Working within the tight constraints of the Avenger, I've had a difficult time finding room to conduct some of our more theoretical experiments. Perhaps the next time we set down. Okay, Tygen. Well, try to stay in an area long. How about seven days here? Will that do you? Ugh. That UFO flew right over us. It made me nervous. Alright, Scilab. Oh, we need supplies for the Scilab. Oh, that's that's in, inconvenient. Well, let's see. We will get 103 supplies from this that. This could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems, but we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. Uh, this could definitely be useful. Yeah, we'll start this now. We'll put our two engineers here. Come on, stop it. 
There we go. 15 days. Alright, we so that's gonna be that would have been significantly long if we didn't have those guys. Alright, so we need some supplies. And we can't exactly take off because this jerk is hovering right over us. So we'll just continue scanning for those rookies. I think huh. this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. Me too. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. By autopsy of the Advent, Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. How? How could you tell that? Against us. Yes, however... Look, it's all pixelated on the right. ...signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information. A great deal of information. Somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. So we can give them seizure procedure? Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like hacking. Said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. How do you hack someone's mind? Oh god, that picture. Um uh, uh, no, no, to still be, stay bent over. I am going to just uh, insert this at the back of your skull. Ugh. That's, that's going to be Commander, brutal. I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link just between said the this. local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. All right, so Proving Grounds, I'm definitely going to want, want Commander, when that's available. Commander, to try to build this skull jack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. All right, well, let's get some plated armor research. Valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Excellent. All right, let's keep doing the research of rookies because he's back over us. Oh, this jerk. All right, going through, coming through, coming through, coming through. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Well, apparently we found the... We, uh... Completed the mission. I mean, the monthly report. So, well, that's all taken care of. And we've got now an additional 253 monthly income supplies. So, that's great. So, that month went by very fast. Uh, we got significant achievements done. Uh, so next mission, or well, next video, will be a monthly report with Bubble. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this uh, XCOM 2 playthrough. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode with Bubble Box. So until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.